back if you haven't been following along. I am the Croy Kaze and we're playing uh, Final Fantasy VI here on Twitch. Um, so what we're playing is a retranslation uh, which features uh, a full rework more to the um, original uh, sort of scripting. Uh, less of the weird, like, what they call Wolseyisms, I believe, of the, uh, the, like, original U.S. NES translation. Uh, and just basically having a good time with what is arguably the best game ever. So, I think, really, my, uh, my journey for this game is that I played it, you know, when it first came out. Uh, on a Super Nintendo that I borrowed from a friend because uh, my family couldn't afford one. Um, and I have not played it since because, you know, not having a Super Nintendo ever, I never was able to go back to it. Um, and then I just, you know, I got busy with life, as you do. And I, I just had never gotten around to replaying it. So, um... I think really what it was is that uh, COVID sort of presented an opportunity um, to, to, you know, reconnect, I think, with, uh, with the old classics uh, and kind of finally get around to doing what I had always wanted to do, uh, which is give this game like a playthrough with like my grown up adult eyes and and see, like, does this really hold up after, you know, playing Dragon Age and playing all these other, um, you know, fancy modern RPGs, Final Fantasy XV and whatnot? Like, does six still hold up? And thus far, the answer is yeah. It's been really, really interesting. Let's see here. I got Celeste in the front line. I'm guessing because she's got Genji gloves. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, I was experiment. Oh, really? There's guys to talk to, but there's encounters? Well, this is not something I expected. Oh, wow, that was really powerful. <laughs> Good sketch. Um, I remember there is a way to uh, turn sketch into like control or something like that. But I don't know if it's a weapon or a relic or what it is, but I, I don't think I have it. Uh, all right, so let's see where I'm at here. So you're new with that. You're still learning holy, but you're, oh wow, you're really close. Um, you're catching up with Zona Seeker because that's a really fast one. And you're getting onboarded into White Mage stuff. Okay. Alright. Looks good. It's weird that there are encounters in here with with people. Like it's really weird. Let's see what this does. Four eighty one. All right, maybe not the best. And we'll expend magic as a last resort. Yeah, so with the sketch here, we get random sort of effects. We can't pick from the enemy's list, and if we find a good one and be like, oh, I'll keep doing this. This guy's got a lot of HP. Oh, that didn't mean. Wow, he was worth a ton of magic points. 
seven. I've had bosses give me far less than that. That's really crazy. Um, okay. All right, so you're finally done with Alexander then. All right, because you have Holy now. What don't you have? You don't have Kiraga. She doesn't have basic thunder. Um, or drain. Or poison, I guess. Alright, fine. Spend some time with Ramen while I figure out what else to do with you. Alright, so you're done with Zone Seeker. So you can probably... Yeah, I was going to say, probably switch to Fenner here. <laughs> okay, I guess we're getting a little story about these guys. I'm just really confused by this place that feels like a NPC cave, but is uh, constantly assaulting me with villains. Drill is very effective against exoskeletons, I suspect. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. This guy just keeps wanting to cause problems. Out. Wow, got a free rod from that battle too. Nice. What is this cave? It's so intricate. him out quickly. I'm really not sure what this place is about. Ichigeki. That seems like a shadow weapon, if I had to guess. Very ninja sounding. Man, that drill is just doing serious work. Edgar is really strong if only because he has to do basically nothing to earn his ability to fight. Like, you just get that stuff out of a store. Oh, there's Shadow just chilling there. Looks like he's been KO'd. Alright, let's sketch this up. Try to heal my party here. All right, so let's go ahead. So let's just cure, cure everybody. And then yourself once.
Oh, two twin sites now. These guys never learn. Oh, wow, she got them both? Oh, but the damage was half, wasn't it? This shrapnel seems to be a real high percentage attack from the sketch move. All right. I guess we should hit up the save point. It's probably here for a reason. Twin sites are everywhere in here, apparently. Like a huge infestation. But yeah, think of how annoying it would be to, to know Edgar when you see him just like wipe out really powerful enemies right and left. You're like, oh man, I studied for years in a magic school. What did you do? He's like, oh, I was born a king and I bought these cool things that make me very strong. Who, wait, who's this guy? Okay, you don't really look like your photo here. All right, being as you opened with ice, I'll open with fire. Using Runic against this guy seems really good, as long as I'm careful about making sure to time his stuff. Oh, whoops. I absorbed my own spell. I was not careful. I thought he'd cast one. I forgot that he did not. Now I'll be under the protection of a runic. Oh. The enemy is coming from behind. Well, this is novel. Oh, great. I'm going to runic that, aren't I? Ugh. K and K behemoth stands for. 
Oh, really? Is it? you just defend for our hound? <laughs> hey, 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 Snoop Dogg. Actually, Nate Dogg on the track would be like that. Well, this isn't good because, uh, man, I got leveled there. I was not paying attention. All right, you raise Edgar. You cure everybody. I got completely distracted by the chat. Down I went. It's my own fault. I lost focus. Oh, why did you have to do that, dude? Should consider morphing here. Forgot about needing to switch rows. Nice. Grabbed his death. So wonder do I do I know you? I don't even remember this username. Oops. I runicked my own cure spell again cuz I wasn't paying attention. This guy's got a lot more HP than I gave him credit for. Let's go ahead and pop morph. Attack this guy. Yeah, I've got the ultimate weapon on Terra. Oh, okay. Is there another enemy? Oh, nope. All right, good deal. Got a behemoth suit. Not bad. Interesting, like a complete auto flight sequence. Is this really like the closest town they could have went to? It's like halfway around the world, I feel like. So I wonder what happened here.
So I guess this is him without his uh, his uh, cape or whatever. Uh, you came to fetch me, but I won't be coming back. Stay here with the girl. You can both live in peace. See, that's a real dog for you. He's got your back. Shadow being pretty chill about his brush with whatever, I guess. I don't know what put him down. I guess the the two behemoths were too much. It's kind of weird that we're in Strago's house without Strago's permission. Like, we just moved in. Take advantage of the cheap inn. Check out the Esper status here. She is done. Mm, pretty far done. <clears throat> this is really the X Factor. Lakshmi is the one everyone needs because Lakshmi has uh, Kiraga. Putting it on Realm first because she's the most likely not to have anything better to do than to heal everyone. So yeah, she's at 33%. Okay. And he's most of the way there, but not yet. So geez, I don't really have anything to give her. She's kind of stuck in limbo here. Everyone else is using all the things that she doesn't have. I think she can learn Drain from Ifrit. That might be it. Alright. Nah, no stories from this guy. I remember him. You know, I went to this rock on my airship, and I couldn't figure out what the rock is about. Um, I'm not sure why she references it. I feel like there's got to be something important about it, but I haven't figured out what it is yet. Yeah, I remember him. All fun places are gone. Now that I've rested, I wonder if coming back like has advanced anything. Besides, I can rest easy with this guy standing guard. Shadow. It's the complete bad dude every way you look at it. A real mofo. Not a lot of real ones out there. Shadow, real one. Best believe. Alright, so, sorry about that. I'm not sure how to advance the Shadow storyline. Maybe I just try to leave the village. That sometimes is a trigger in these older games. So what if I just mosey out of town? Hmm. Can you imagine if towns in real life had theme songs? Oh, oh, Snappy's gone. Wait, was he on the first floor? Did I pass him?
Where did you go, Shadow? He left for the Colosseum. Oh. Well, thank you, helpful citizen. This is exactly what I, I want to find. I do think it's kind of funny that he's like, oh, he left for the Colosseum. As if I should definitely know all about that. I don't think I've seen it yet in the game. Da Vinci brush. Weaker than what she has, so. Vest made of diamonds. Oh yeah, who is that behemoth suit for? Nope. Nope. Actually, you should have... You should have the enhancer on. She can wear it. That's weird. The princess gown is like straight up inferior, I guess. Real needs all the help she can get, honestly. Um, I've heard, pray tell, that she has like the most powerful magic in the game, but uh, I certainly didn't know anything about that. Uh, the first time I played through this game, I just always thought of her as kind of a useless character that well, I would really want her. So I've tried to land on this rock a, a bunch, and I've landed next to it, and I haven't really been able to figure out what's the deal with this rock. Like, if something cool should happen from coming here. Maybe I just need to bring the, the right person here. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, I don't actually know where the Colosseum is. So we were at Thamasa, right? Which is down here? Yeah, okay, so he went to the Colosseum. All right, cool. Uh, except for we're on an island in the middle of the ocean. What Colosseum did he possibly make for? There doesn't appear to be anything else down here. Yeah. Still nothing here. Well, that's a complete mystery how he left without the airship. Uh, let's see. That's Chukum Place. That's where. That's Mobile is, where Terror was. Um. I'd like to get. Locked back at some point. What is that? Is this something? This is just a weird looking piece of landscape. Got him up. Big bam. Filled him full lead. Again, money is a superpower. 
Just be rich enough to buy incredibly advanced weaponry and don't learn any magic. Um, okay, so I thought this would be something. It's not. Like something in this clearing of trees, right? There's a town here. Maybe I'll check out this town. Maybe they got some leads on how to find lock. Okay, so this is where I picked up Sabin earlier. Yep, I remember cleaning out that burning house was, uh, with just Celeste wasn't the most fun. Pitching for relic salesman. Hmm. Well, it looks like this is a dead end. All right. I do. Um, all right, so we'll split up Sabin and his brother. Terra is one powerful magic force. So this is the other. Both these guys have ability to crank out some damage. And I think this party needs more help. So they'll take Realm. Hmm. Pity I don't have Shadow to make like two even groups. no context for what is happening here. Cave? Is that where I'm at? Got all, you're almost done with raise. So let's just throw a seraphim on you. I know Sabin has almost every spell. He doesn't have Alexander. Is everything else Alexander has? Uh, let's see. You need. You need the basics really bad. Probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
gave you haste of 20%. What did you have? Oh, I see you did a battle with this guy before he got taken from you. Um... Some utility spells. Alright, you're chilling with Frenier. Let me stop for a second. Alright, I guess everyone's equipped up. Probably don't all have relics, but. attack always misses. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to do. I don't know if it's an insta-kill or what. Those were pretty durable enemies. I wonder if I should wait until I'm a little stronger. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, tell you what. Maybe I can just bail. together yeah that cave looked like it was gonna be a problem just judging from the um, the first encounter I had there and I don't think I'm Probably quite done getting everyone that I wanted to get. Um, I wonder if there's like a, a order guide or something that you can use um, for who you should get when. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, Fiend's Cave is one of the hardest. Um, let's go to Narsh then. Um, bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I'm trying to play this game kind of organically, but it's really open-ended right now. I want a little direction for the... Uh-oh. 
this guy. Oh, all right, well, Edgar died right away. So let's raise him. He's sort of the, the party's like main damage dealer. All right, let's just have her Blizzard at him. Okay, that healed him. Let's try a fire. Okay, so fire hurts him. Okay, you just like kind of showed up and wasted my time. What a jerk. So, uh, let's see here. Alright, so Narsh is here. Oh, wow. Yusuke, it's been a long time. Oh, weird. So if you fight Death Gaze, everyone gets all their their life back. All right, let's let's visit Narsh. Okay, that's right. There's encounters here. Light these mofos up, old school style. Man, sketching is really useless. I've got to find uh, that thing that lets her have control. I just don't remember what it's called or where it's at or how I found it. I know it exists somewhere in the game. I just don't know how one comes across it. That's right. I can't get into any of these places. So I guess I just advanced. up with fire. It's going to do 28 damage. Yep. Okay. So that attack does it however much damage she actually took. Alright. Time to hit this dude off with a trill drill. How things going, Yusuke? What's up? How you been? I'm facing a lot of Garms up in here. Like mad Garms.
Uh, I find that the, the drill is more reliably high damage than the chainsaw. The chainsaw often will go for the insta-kill attack, and it will often fail. Whereas the drill just always does consistently very high HP damage. Yeah, when you do get the chainsaw spin, it's great. Um, it's slightly more damaging than drill, but a lot of times it fails. Uh, yeah, I put in like 11 or so hours today at work, so I'm right there with you. I had to get up at 5 a.m. Uh, so this has been this has been a long one for me too. Let's see if I can insta kill this guy. these guys I feel like these guys are the bad dudes from um, from that like that movie Return to Oz or whatever uh, is there anything up ahead I can't remember Her off, son. You never saw Return to Oz? That was a bizarre retelling of, of The Wizard of Oz. And it's like, it was super freaky, if I remember as, from a kid's standpoint. You should like Google one of the images from it. It is something else. Uh, but yeah, I think these guys are based off of. The villains of that movie, like the Wheelers or whatever they were called. Stibbity stabbity. Man, Realm really sucks. Oh, no, I'm going to turn him around. Oh, well, he's dead. That's right. Break yourself. Yeah, Noise Blaster is really, really good. It works way more often than you think it should. Like, usually in these RPGs, you see something like that, and you're just like, oh, that's probably some one-off thing. It's just never going to work. But actually, it, it pretty reliably works on a lot of stuff. The chainsaw does about 2,500 when it does the spin attack. Let's see what the drill does for a comparison. So it does 2,000. It does 500 less. Okay. Chainsaw is still more powerful for sure. Yeah, yeah, they're not as they're not as monster in Return to Oz, that's for sure. Um, it's just the concept of like, hey, I got wheels for hands. You know, Chrono Trigger has wheels for hands, dude, as well, right? The um, the race guy, like Johnny or whatever. I wonder why this is a, a common theme.
I don't know if there's a if there's a tool I'm missing for Edgar or not. I don't know if I'm supposed to have eight there or not. Uh, see, there's there's an example of why I don't like the chainsaw. It's because sometimes it just does that zero damage. It's not reliable. Yeah, yeah, that's his name. Good old reliable drill. Never leaves you hanging. There is a lot of mag rotors here. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. What if she just attacks these guys? That's actually way stronger. Okay. No more... No more wasting my life with, uh... <laughs> Wait, you think the motorcycle guy was... was... black? In Chrono Trigger? Was he? I guess I don't ever really remember seeing concept art of him. Here. Yeah, the, the enemies here are plentiful, but they're not very powerful thus far. Especially compared to like that first fight in the Phoenix Cave. Those guys were really strong. It took way too much damage to bring them down. I knew I was in over my head a little. I love when enemies do like a like a real pathetic last hit for just like 20 HP before they go out. It really feels like like you can feel their like bitter tears as they swat at you. Like from hell's heart they stab at thee. More garms. Garms everywhere all the time. Alright, let me let me look at this link you sent. Okay, so like in his concept art, he really doesn't have a face structure at all, just glasses and hair. So yeah, he's sort of just indeterminate. No features. Which is probably for the best. Do they? I haven't played Rondo of Blood in a very long time. I did play it on the original hardware at one point. I think I just continue up now. Oh, I was really hoping there'd be no encounters through this maze. Well, that's a lot of dudes here. I mean, you can't really invest that much time in that part of Chrono Trigger. You just gotta, like, win the race or whatever against him, I think, to advance things. Alright, nailed these dudes to the wall. Picked up stop. I think that means she's done with her Esper.
Is the OVA that, like, weird one-off thing that's, like, just them, like, goofing around or whatever? Like, there's no big villain or anything? And it's got, like, Gato's, like, the main character? Is that the OVA? Yeah, that OVA, like, was neat, but it's also just weird that it exists. Alright, why don't you pick up Alexander. You're still just slow grinding Ifrit. And how's that coming? For you? Man, the enemies here give out very little magic points, so the Esper grind here is... Oh, what the heck? Okay, well, he looks harmless. Should probably runic him. Yep, there goes Chainsaw doing zero damage. Are you runic this for us? No, you're just gonna die? Oh, okay. Real great. Ah. Nice job, Celeste. Real S class stuff. Way to way to way to be on top of things. Wait, you're gonna Runic, you're... Oh, oh my god, you were dead. You still remembered you had Runic up? Oh my... Oh my god. Uh-oh. She's probably dead again. Yup. Man, she's taking massive damage from this ice stuff. I wonder why. Yeah... It's really clear that the Chrono Trigger OV or whatever was definitely like a third string effort. Uh, I know there's like a way you can... She has the Crystal Sword Enhancer, so I guess maybe it's whatever armor she has on that's making her weak. I don't know. She's taking crazy damage from this guy. Um, let's have her do a Cure Spell as well. And then I'll turn her... To blast him, let's do fire. Okay, so using sketch against him is a terrible idea, I've discovered. What if I just attack him? Yeah, that seems to be the better move. Alright, now we're stacking mad damage on him. Alright, here comes absolute zero. He's frozen, but it looks like he can still do stuff. Um, do I need to hit him with a fire spell? Oh, KO'd. Alright, other than Celeste getting jiggity jacked at first and catching me off guard, that really wasn't too bad. Dragons remain.
Yeah, maybe just not having a shield? I'm not sure why she took so much damage. Unless crystal stuff is weak to ice? I don't know. So, yeah, that finishes him up here. Edgar's got almost everything because he stays in most of the game. doesn't have Dispel. Um, I think he can learn that from someone else. Yeah, he'll learn that when he gets a shot at Alexander. Um, he doesn't have Blizzard. Let's throw Bismarck on him for a moment. She's still got a ways to go on Holy. She's very slowly grinding Drain up, and 60% done with Lakshmi here. Alright. Oh, nice. Save point. It's a good thing I was relatively healed up when I ran out of that dragon, though. It came out of nowhere. You know what? I got the preempt. I'm just gonna run, because I'm like one inch from the next screen. I really don't want to fight these guys. I'm just Go to the next screen. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Runic King Osmos is sort of a weird use case. You're like, enough with this magic. Check these arrows. Bake these chumps. Doomstep. Oh, nice block. Oh, wow, and they all vanished afterwards. That, man, there's some weird interactions on, like, enemy death in this game. Garma. Um. All right. Well, he's definitely using stuff against me. I don't know if I should attack this guy or not. It's hard to tell. Okay, he's casting Blazaga. Okay. Get you out of that ice there, friend. Be frozen. What am I supposed to do about that? Can he soon have fixed that? Oh, I'm gonna runic that. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Am I supposed to kill this guy? I'm really confused by what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, so it's, it's okay to open up on this dude? Thanks. I was really unsure. All right, here you be soon to yourself. I don't think you heard a dog, at least not here.
Wait, was I not supposed to do that? Did I mess up? Okay. Okay, cool. He's not like, ah, I'm dead. You scare me, man. I sense war and destruction. Could that foolish war possibly have lasted a thousand years? So, you would seek to put an end to this madness? Then I shall put my trust in you. Valley Garmanda. <laughs> is that like a... What are, is that like a, a Hindu reference? It kind of feels like it might be. Oh, and like a missing slot I had too. Oh, Firaga was like a Thundaga. What up? Hell yeah. What are you learning right now? Holy, ah. Holy is useful. Alright, how about you? Oh, you're just chilling with Ifrit? Okay. Great. Get up on that. And you're still with Lakshmi. I think you're just passing time with Bismarck, right? Yeah, you're done. Um... Yeah, my man here already done been around the block with everyone. I don't even know what stat makes him do more damage. Like, if there was something you would want to level up with him, I, I don't even know what it would be. He's already just, like, super good. got just about everything um i could like try for things like drain or whatever just for the heck of it just to have the options all right sure here how do you free okay everyone else is good to go um and i i have been using save states uh, there's been a couple times throughout the stream history where I have manipulated, uh, uh luck events and things like that. Um, like stealing. If I want a boss to give up an item, um, I save the state and then issue the steal command. And it essentially does the roll every time. So I just reload five or six times until it actually finally succeeds and then I move on with the rest of the fight. I don't suppose I could just use warp or whatever to get out of here. Oh, escape from dungeons. Perfect. Man. Oh, what's up, Goey? Hell yeah. Uh... Was I supposed to meet somebody there, though? Like, did I miss something? I didn't encounter anyone. Did I? I thought this is like where Umaru could be obtained or something. Um, was there someone who was supposed to be inside World of Ruin Narsh? Um... Let's see, I think I've been to Zozo already because I got there on foot. Oh yeah, and there was the um, the mountain uh, behind it. <laughs> I 
The pen in the pad was was the old days. Um, I didn't really try to min max this game too hard because it just the the power curve is generally pretty good. You don't really have to abuse it. I just thought that there would be someone to get in Narsh, um, but maybe not. So I've done Zozo, Cave on the Velt. Um, that sort of unlocked uh, Shadow. I don't know if I went everywhere in that cave, but I certainly made it through. Ebot's Rock, though, I haven't figured out how to access that. It's north of town. I don't know what you're supposed to do with it. Um, Ebot's Rock is down here next to... Uh, Amasa. Unless it's not this. Um... But, here, I'll land here and show you what I mean. So, I think this guy tells me Shadow's in the Coliseum. Yeah, he left. And then, I think it's you. Ebot's Rock is above water for the first time. Head north of town if you want to see it. And I mean, directly north of this town, there is this rock. But I have found no way to interact with it. Now, if she doesn't mean that, the next thing that could be conceivably called Ebot's Rock, one of these things out here, maybe, or this island here. Um, which I can't really tell if there's anything I'm supposed to be able to do here or not. Snap, it's the zone eater. Um, munch, munch, munch. Okay. Well, I guess we're getting go go. I think this is, I'm pretty sure this is how it's done. every magic spell in the universe. I wonder if I can just speed up this process of getting eaten. <laughs> Here you go, man. Chow down. Nice, you blocked gravity with a shield? That's incredible. Imagine parrying gravity and then flying into the sky. All right, man. Um, so how things going with you, Gubby? Munch, munch, munch. Just one more. Finish your meal, Zone Eater. Oh my god, can you quit gravitating her? <laughs> what do you want here? Just slanging and banging. I've been munched. Alright. 
we in there, fam. Now by apps, do you mean appetizers? Alright, so there are monsters in here. Hit him with the trill drill. Oh, uh, bake him. <laughs> no TGI Fridays, infinite appetizers for you, eh? I don't even know if we have one of those in the state. I don't think I've seen one. Wart Beast. Oh, wait. There's a, there's a dude here. What? What is going on? This place is crazy. Red jacket? Oh, it's actually like way legit too. Like you could have an entire armor made of diamonds and it doesn't shine like this jacket that's red. I wasn't sure how I felt uh, if, if coming back to this game was going to feel good after so many years of not having seen or played it. Um, and I have to say, it's completely holding up. Like, it's way darker than I remembered. Getting. Wait, is he just invisible? Okay. Um, getting through a shame log is definitely uh, partially why I'm doing this. It's just something I've always wanted to get back around to. Alright, noise blaster doesn't work on these guys. Let's see what this gets me. Sloga? Okay. This guy's got a lot of HP, I've noticed. I really thought at least some of them would die. Yeah, I mean, what it is for me is the maturity level of the, the events of this game is really surprising. Um, a couple chapters ago, you know, we found Terra, like, shell-shocked by herself in a village like tending a bunch of kids and like when I was like okay I, we gotta go kill Kefka she was like I'm not going I don't know if I can even fight people anymore and the kids were like don't take our mommy and I was just like this is really dark and grown up um it's it's way more mature than I it had any reason to be Those guys were tough. So do I want to like not get seen by this guy, I guess? He's the guard of this bridge? For some reason? Oof. Magical brush. Oh, is this it? Wait, the only way to find out what items have for powers is you have to come in here. Oh, it doesn't say, like, turns. Okay, I was hoping Magical Brush was the thing that 
I turned her into control. Let's see, she'll lose magic power, she'll lose battle power, she'll lose in block a lot. Now, I'll equip it and see. Yeah, it doesn't show up in here. Um, I know she gets something that lets her change her sketch command. And I was hoping it was this. I don't remember what it is. It's a problem just going in raw after uh, a million years. Because, you know, someone recently posted like this meme where it said, hey, uh, this is what you think Final Fantasy looked like 20 years ago. Genji Arn's even better than a red jacket. Okay. And no one else can wear it, though. Um, but yeah, they were they were distributing this meme where it was like, this is what you think Final Fantasy looked like 20 years ago, and it was like, maybe FF4, FF6, or whatever. It's like, this is what Final Fantasy looked like 20 years ago, and it was FF10. <laughs> and you're like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I wonder if I can get across that gap somehow, or is this all a trick? Alright, time to save state and try this out. Oh, no. Try again. Nope. Oh, come on. A fake mustache. Oh, here it is. Change the sketch into control. Yes, yes, yes. So it's not it's not a weapon. Awesome. That is super valuable to make realm way less crappy. Oh. Haha. -ha. I control I control this universe. I've got Zoworldo on my side. That was an annoying amount of damage. Oh, physical attacks take away her control. Okay, duly noted. Wow. Celeste is dead again? Yeah, she did. She got punked. And she's down again. Wait, that hit us too? Uh oh. Uh, this did not go according to plan. Just put her down again. Oh my god. These dudes are relentless. Oh my god. <laughs> I am so screwed.
This fight's the worst. What happened to your furniture, cuz? I have furniture? What? Oh, and she's down again. Every time she gets up, boom. I don't know what these guys are weak to. Hopefully it's fire. Yeesh. That fight really went wrong in all kinds of crazy ways. Um... Fortunately, Edgar doesn't need MP, so it's okay just to use his MP to fix everything like it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, you know, you keep waiting for the crossbow to, like, quit being awesome, and it, it never stops being awesome. Like, you get it in the first hour of the game or whatever, and it, it just carries you the entire time. I'm gonna use a tent if only to get back MP on everyone. Plus, I got a bunch of tents, and I figured why not. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's let's rock. Oh, what is this? Oh my god. Dude, look at how forward-thinking this was for the time. There's no way doing stuff like this. Am I in the right place? Oh my god. This is so terrifying. Oof. Snap. Shrouded in odd clothing. Is this a man? Or perhaps a woman? Maybe not even a human at all. What would Gogo's voice been like if you're, like, he's under a bunch of, like, clothing and stuff. All right, here we go. If we're going to have a Gogo voice, right, we're going to need a prop. Here we go. I am Gogo. I have been a mimic all my life. You're the first visitors I've had in a long time. Yes, I've been idle for too long. Perhaps I ought to mimic you. So what are you doing now? I see. So you're saving the world. Then I shall mimic you, saving the world. Lead on and I'll copy your every move. And just like that, dude is down for whatever. Okay, so now that I have Gogo, -Go, I believe the right move is just to teleport out of here. Am 
Okay. Done go 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 cosplay. Um Alright, I'm gonna save state just in case. But I don't think there's anything more to accomplish here. Boom, right back at my airship, like it ain't nothing wrong. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure, um, I'm not sure if this is Ebot's rock or not. Yeah, if you think about it, Gogo's got no, like, real compulsion. He's just like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll do whatever you're doing. And so, yeah, if Kefka had gotten to him first and just been like, hey, uh, I'm using the light of judgment, sizzling mobiles, uh, separating parents from children, like, bifurcating that, that whole deal, um, you know, Gogo would be like, okay, that sounds totally reasonable. I'll mimic that. Talk about, like, true neutral character. <laughs> Drown in shoe continent. <laughs> yeah, I figured you probably didn't mean shoe continent. I was like, I was like, what is this deep reference? So, what I'm confused about is if that's the Ebot's Rock location, or if that was Triangle Island. So, I'm going to Google just because I'm tired of not knowing which place was which. No, Ebot's Rock really is that little, that little town. Um, so, let's see. Okay, apparently I've got to find Strago somewhere to be able to do Ebot's Rock. So this is not Ebot's Rock. Ebot really is that little tiny island. Um, that really tiny little island down here, uh, just north of Thamasa. Um, but I think I need Strago to interact with this, which is why I haven't been successful. And I've not yet located where Strago can be found. Um, I thought I saw him in the Masa at one point, but uh, I have not seen him since. So I'm not sure where he's located. Um, I've heard of the Colosseum, but I don't know where that's located. There's still a bunch of things I have yet to discover in the world of Ruin. Um, what is this out here? Oh, this is where Sid lives. Yep. I already talked to him. He says, like, hey, thanks for saving me or something like that. He doesn't really uh, seem to care that you have an airship. He doesn't want to come along or anything. Yeah, look at, look at this. Oh, does your whip just completely allow you to go in any direction? Oh, son, stunting on him. Ah! Blow your whole mind. Look at this. I get high. I get low. Mode 7 is really cool. This is definitely the best implementation of Mode 7. Straight up. Uh, Alright. Which town is this? Miranda. Okay, yeah. I've been here. What could I be needing to go to? Man, when you see a force like that, you just think there's going to be something in it. Alright, that was the Opera House. Now I know where the Phoenix Cave is. It really looked like nothing. It's marked on your map, though, which is the only indication that it's something at all. Uh, Phoenix Cave was... Yeah, this thing here. You try to land in the middle of it with the airship, it it triggers you to start the Phoenix Cave. No explanation about it whatsoever. No cutscenes like, hey, 
What's that down there? Nothing. Just like, okay, let's go. Um, so where could Strago be? I haven't quite figured that out yet. Um, we got Realm at Ozen's Mansion. We got Shadow, kind of, at the Cave on the Hill. We can't go to Evos Rock. We did Science Dream. Um, Go Go was found just now on Triangle Island. Uh, I haven't done Ancient Castle, and I'm not sure what that is either. Um, an ancient Castle. Have I seen an Ancient Castle anywhere? I mean, I, I, I did Figaro Castle, and I, that's where I got Edgar from. Um, I'm really trying to... Oh, was well, no, that wasn't where I got the airship. That was like someone's tomb or whatever. I think that's this thing here. Setzer's buddy had buried this airship or whatever. Good thing he did too, because there was only one in the first world. Um, so it's a good thing there was one other airship to be located. Uh, let's see. So, where do I need to go? I don't know if I was supposed to find anyone in Narsh. Um, let's see. I'm trying not to rely on Google too much, but I'm starting to run out of, like, obvious leads. Um... Okay, so it sounds like I can get Strago just uh, from the Fanatic's Tower. Um, so I think the Fanatic's Tower is somewhere along here. Yeah, right here. Oh, there he is right there. That's a hell of a jump. He's got mad ups. Well, is it really you? My dear, you're alive. Oh, well, I was sure you were. Geese bag? Dang, harsh. Kids. No respect. You're as foul mouthed as ever. Bless your heart. Okay, well, that was a quick pickup. We got Strago right back. Well, I suddenly feel cheerful again. All right, I'm ready to do my part. Despite being hella old. I like how those guys don't break a formation. They're like, yeah, we know there's a space here now, but like, whatever. We refuse to, to change our, our move. We spent months practicing. Alright, so yep, there's Gogo -Go and Strago, our two newest recruits. We're getting, a, we're getting a pretty good sized party now, so at least with uh, Patrick Stewart on deck. <laughs> well, number one. I engage. So yeah, um, now if we did Phoenix Cave, at least we would have two parties of four, which would be at the bare minimum of what you would want. Let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just 
uh, keep this party rocking for the moment. Actually, I need to get Strago on the party. Um, so maybe... I really want her to complete Lakshmi, so I, I gotta bring her just to... She finishes it and can give up that Esper. Terra's learning how to... You've got another rare good Esper. And you're almost done with Holy. I really need to keep all of you... Actually, no, you're the only one that can go. But I feel like without Edgar, this party's gonna suffer. <laughs> um. Okay, so looking at the like challenge rating here, this shouldn't be that hard of a place to go do. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna risk taking Edgar out of the party. Uh, no, gonna go Figaroless. Because, uh, I mean, Sabin is the god of this game. I don't think there's any debate about that. It's just un uh, unbelievably stupidly good in all situations. Because he's like, why well, learn magic when I can just do fighting game martial arts and kill anything? Um, and for most of the game, he's really a lot stronger than the rest of his compatriots. Um, especially without having to use MP whatsoever to do any of his abilities. Uh, and uh, I haven't even ever really done Chakra, but I'm pretty sure it's also like a fairly decent heal spell that he has as a natural ability. Alright, so I'm going to bring Strago along. Maybe rock this formation. Alright. Time to go to the stripper. You're like, who's the stripper? Uh, it's this guy. Uh, he strips all your old party members. Boom. Alright, Optima. Really? Your best is not one of the many rods you can equip? It's the man-eater knife? I am confused completely by that. Why would that be the best weapon for you? Alright. Realm... Realm also can you see the hand you're not like Stabby Stabbies, what up? So why don't you go here and then you get your Magus rod. I still can't believe the the man eater is like the best deal for her. The healing rod's interesting because if you hit your enemies, it has a rare chance to heal them. That's why its battle power is so high, so instead you'll be bonking all your party members with it. Realm, Celeste, Gogo, -Go, and Terra team downtown Portland. Maybe not Realm. <laughs> I don't really see her as downtown Portland. Uh, I guess she's, she could be the artist that's trying to hawk uh, hawk art to you off the sidewalk. I, I can feel that. She's got, she's got starving artist energy. He's wearing a Moogle suit. Think of how ridiculous he must look. And she's in a behemoth suit. Alright. So usually my, like, hey, what's that? You don't know any magic prescription is, uh, motto in here to, to get you the basic level two elements and the other one will be to do seraphim which gives you the heal spells it's usually my like remedial you don't know what you're doing uh gadget glove hermy shoes gold hairpin growth egg Looks like you could stack Zephyr cloaks to get real swole on defense. 97% in block. 46% evade. Just like the don't touch me stance. Actually, do I have anything better to really give him? Mm. 
But he actually has to get hit by magic. So he's like the worst person to use this on. So instead, you want to make him durable. All right, so there you go. Now he's a little more durable against getting hit by stuff, but yeah, if I remember correctly, he actually has to like get hit um, like Rocky style, you know? It's not about how hard you get hit. It's about hard, <laughs> or, or how hard you can't hit. It's about how hard you get hit. You keep getting back up. It's like the, the whatever Rocky speech. Well, the cap that I think is there is the, um, the ones that are percentage based. So evade percent and M block percent. So you could double up Zephyr Cloak, um, and make your M block percent ridiculously high. His is already 77% because of the Magus Rod. It's really high. So I don't think anyone else else's would get this huge of a boost. Bigfollows.com. Click.ru. Go on, comrade. Want to become famous? Buy followers, primes, and fuels on bigfollows.com. We assuredly will not take your money. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Okay, so now we should be able to go back to Thamasa with the Thamasians in our party and see what's what. Take them back to their hometown. Here we go. So I, I certainly hope Shadow didn't sleep in my bed. <laughs> Man, have I just gotten old? That's what every dude's, you know, thinking about when he finds out, like, the PlayStation 2 is 20 years ago. Mr. Gung Ho. Who is this guy? I don't remember Mr. Gung Ho. Gung Ho, wake up. Who did this to you? It, I mean, what would Gung Ho sound like? You know, I mean, it's, I guess that's like a Cantonese name, um, technically. Like, it was Hidong, the legendary beast you and I used to hunt for. I almost had him. You took on Hidong? Uh, ha, ha. Gung Ho! Struggle, priest. Thou must avenge me. Uh, oh, you were there on that launch day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember standing there waiting for the PS2 launch. Remember they had that TV that was, like, supposed to entertain us, but, like, I can't remember. They put something on that just wasn't, wasn't working out for us whatsoever. Well, I spent my youth chasing that creature, but I never thought I'd be doing it again at this age. Come whole rest easy. I'll get him for you. Basically, uh, Strago's storyline here just mimics um, the lyrics from Warren G. and Nate Dogg's um, seminal rap song, Regulate. See, Hidong was the suckas all up in Gung Ho's mix. Uh, Gung Ho, of course, being the origin of Warren G. It stands for Warren Gung Ho. People don't know that. I have to face the thing that escaped me all those years ago. It is my obsession, not yours.
I'm sorry, Realm. I'm grateful that you care so much. But as its name implies, the Hedon is extremely difficult to find. Look, he's Hedon. Oh my god. I didn't even put that together to this point. It's just called the Hedon. That's hilarious. But, well, no, no. See, this isn't like Strago is not Warren G. Strago is Nate Dog. Right? Because he saw some suckers all up in Gung Ho's mix. So right now, Gung Ho's like, you know, I'm getting jacked. I can't believe they're taking Gung Ho's wealth. Right? So now it's time for Strago to pull out his gat and lay those bustas down. Uh, if we're if we're keeping with the metaphor here. All right. So now that we've got the Thamasians, I think we've unlocked this quest proper. Um, everyone's full up. All right. Time to take this a vast distance. Oh, look, now there's an actual just big hole in the cave, like, indicating, hey, now you can come here. Okay. Oh, what? What foolery is this? Oh, man. Oh, man. What? What? A talking treasure chest? What is this madness? Where am I? Okay. Well, I got a piece of coral now. Dude, what is this madness? Wait. Why does he look like Mog? The Moogle suit makes him look like Mog? That is Strago, is it not? Yeah, he's got lore. Okay, I'm gonna have him defend for a second. Just because I want to see what he's got. Special. Alright, do your special to this guy. Choke? That was not very cool. Alright. Let's have all these mages bang on these bad guys. Put the chokes to them. I did have a pretty fly chain. I should have controlled him and, and used the like hand over your <laughs> your bling mechanic. Use it to get mad rich. He even reacts like Mog to a fight. All right, I'll take over Chain Guy. Actually, no, I'm just gonna blast all these dudes. He can cast Holy? Wow, all right. Here, Holy your homeboy to death. That doesn't sound right. Oh, you've got holy now? Cost 40 MP. Whack. It didn't even kill. Wow. I'm completely confused by this. Just two jacking these guys. Um. All right, here. Holy this chicken, man. Oh, 
What's special, dude? Oh, magic drain. Alright, can I make this guy cast holy on himself? I can. If you think about it, Realm with like the fake mustache or whatever is like real sinister. Like you would not want to run up into her. She'd be like, kill your family. You're like, I don't want you. She'd be like, kill your family. Their fake mustache. And you'd be like, no. And then you would cast holy on your family. It wouldn't do a ton of damage because they're not evil aligned, probably. I mean, everyone's families are different. Another piece of coral. Dude, this... This place is something else. Alright. <laughs> uh... If you can't tell, I'm like really stingy with MP. I don't like to spend it for nobody. Know how. Oh, this is him. Okay. Sure, I got coral now. Oh my god, this guy. Oh my. I gotta get this guy more coral. Oh. Okay, well, that was easy. Alright, yeah, I got five more pieces here, dude. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. It's really tempting as it is just to leave. Okay. This is the weirdest dungeon. Just put the, the knife to you. Alright, uh, here, control this, like, Danny DeVito looking cat. No, don't magic drain me. Oh, you failed at it. Awesome. Bio and poison, huh? Okay. Bio both of you. Oh wait, I wonder if I'll heal him. Nope. Dang, so let's start to turn into a little badass. That bear is back is too gangster. I wonder if I can stench Strago. Oh, I can't aim it at Strago. I was hoping to stench Strago to see if I could, like, um, blue magic it. <laughs> Paw side down. I'm never going to look at that bear the same again. Claws up, claws down, claws sideways. Pads to the floor, gents. <laughs> yo, yo, what is this? What is this? Oh, I picked up a new follower today? Look at that. Very exciting. I thought they didn't care. Alright, we got more coral. More coral still. Alright, you greedy piece of junk. Are you sated yet? Oh my god. I hate this guy. Ugh.
Oh, see, there's no bear this time. Alright, I'm just gonna blast these dudes. The foundation! Blasting homes. Come on, Realm. I want you to turn to come home and see what I got. Oh, Quake? Oh, Quake on everybody? Oh, uh, I don't know about that. Use your special on that, dude. Can you turn him to stone or something? That'd be great. Lick? <laughs> Realm will force you to lick your homies. She is not here to play. We've lost control of this dude. Let's put him down. Realm is like a truly sinister creature. This fake mustache. Just like the villain from Jessica Jones. Fake mustache is on brand for Portland. That's, that's a real hipster kind of thing to have. Got another piece of coral. Oh. Whoa, a new villain. Okay. I want to control it. What can I do to it? Oh, it worked. <laughs> Keep FF six weird six man. Special death in void. Can he just X zone himself in the first round of combat? No. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with control. All right, special yourself. Ribbed. Oh. All right. Get some damage in on this fool before she controls him again. This guy never had a chance. Alright, cast death on himself. <laughs> what? Why is he back? What happened? Why did, why did he suddenly come back? I'm so confused. So... What, what happened? Let's try this again. What? Oh, control missed. He sipped to the game. Yo, that guy is immortal. At least, like, him and Death are, like, friends. That was totally nuts. Whoop. Oh, some more new guys. Let's control that ram looking thing. Lamb. 
landslide avalanche. Oh, well, should I not have done that? Is it gonna hit? Oh, it's gonna hit all of us. That sucked. Realm, you need to learn where to aim. Okay, landslide, I'm clearly targeting them. Okay. Special yourself. I like how this guy rioted on himself. Maybe that's the real downtown Portland tech. Oh! Alright, where do I go? What am I even doing here? I guess this is a dead end. Let's control the seahorse this time. See what he's got available. Everyone jump Dane Vito. Uh, acid rain. Okay. Looks cool. Let's try that. I like how the rain hit everyone, but clearly didn't do anything to anybody else. Rain. This actually summons Flash Dance from Batman 85 or whenever it was. Okay, maybe it doesn't do that. What status effect could possibly be healing these guys? Unless it's poison. You didn't hit Strago with it, like the one guy who could have benefited? Oh my god. These monsters, I swear. You get good talking to. Got some more coral. Didn't find anything to do in there. Hey, it's this guy again. Alright, so this guy has holy. Uh, let's attack all his homeboys. Better holy yourself. I realize, though, that bringing Realm and Strago together lets you probably, if you're really concentrated on it, game the system to uh, to get Strago all of his like blue magics or whatever, because you can make the enemies keep pelting him until they succeed. Dang, that hurt. Dang, that hurt. I 
remember there is some strategy where you like put some floating relic on the whole party because all the enemies cast quake all the time and you don't take any damage and they can't do anything about it please tell me this is enough coral oh my god How... Okay. Uh, how do you get through this? Christ. Okay. I had to fact this. Listen to this. Uh, the party must feed the chest at least 22 pieces of coral all at once. Feeding it some at a time accomplishes nothing, and the game does not keep track of how much coral the player has. That's absolutely nuts. Like, there's no way... You could have figured that out back in the day. 22 pieces of coral is what you need. So I found a piece, right? So if I go into item, rare, coral. It says seven because there's seven total items in here. It's not how many coral, so it just says piece of coral. So right now we're at one. Oh boy. So I just need to not talk to the chest. For a while. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna bail on this fight. Let's just go. That guy does have regen from the jump, you're right. Is there a chest in here? Okay, now we're at three pieces of coral. Oh my god. All right. Just because this is a, a very amusing encounter, I want to do this again. X zone yourself. Yes! <laughs> That's a hype way to win. Okay, so now we're at what eight? We had we had three. I think we're at eight. So we just gained five. So now we're at ten. Drop this fool. Party full of magic users. Banging on fools. No, oh my god, the encounter rate is too high here. Oh, it's this guy again. Alright. <laughs> Oh, he actually got a hit off.
Freak yourself, fool. Ah, oh, failed. I'm ready to try again. Come on. I want to believe. Oh, man. Actually, Yusuke, are you back with us? Are you are you seeing this, Yusuke? Because if so, I got something I want to show you. Not looking at my view here. Is Yusuke still here? Yeah, he is. Okay, great. Yusuke, you got to check this out. <laughs> Dude, watch, watch what happens when I death this guy. Think again. I can't explain why this guy has got a pact with death that he just cannot be killed. But he cannot be killed by death. Uh, it's real weird. Let's try avoid them one more time. There we go. All right, XO. I am a little sad that um, the the retranslation has changed uh, X Zone to um, Void. I really liked the name X Zone. It's kind of silly in '90s, but I really liked it. Um, so you still got a ways to go. You're getting very close now. You got a ways to go. You're almost done, okay. At least these fights aren't completely in vain. So we're at 10 pieces, 13 pieces. This is this guy again? Oh no, it's these dudes. You know, let's just bail on these guys. They have a lot of HP. Oh my god, this party's so bad at running away. <laughs> yeah, maybe this guy's got pockets full of coral. Okay, so that should be 16. Should be 19. That should be it, but I'm going to uh, definitely err on the side of over-chesting. Okay, that should be 24. 27. And a chance to save. I actually wonder should I have... Oh, there's that bear. <laughs> Gangsta bear. I kind of wonder if I should have uh, used a tent there. Just to get my MP back. Let's call Lakshmi because I got, I got the... I got the time. Let's just do it. Nice. Let's just, let's call Alexander. Let's see what he looks like. Hit him up. Let's dump on these fools. Divine Judgment. Oh, shit! Alexander is a living castle. Get wrecked. Ah, I see him on him. He's kind of boring. I already called Lakshmi.
let's let's call whatever this is. Whoa. That's a dude that was in ice, but no longer in ice. Oh my god, he is gonna cast holy on me. Why does it do so much more damage to me than when he casts it on himself? I can't understand that. Alright, please no encounters on the way back. Okay, great. Item. Tenting it up. Man, I got like one foot and I ran into these guys. Alright. Side attacks are easy to run from. Let's go. I got enough coral, I think. Hopefully. Oh my god. This game. No! Why? Grab some more coral, because why not? Oh, you jerks. Oh my god. I am in like Groundhog Day type stuff now. Dang. Realms was not having it. God. Where is the chest monster? I have your coral. There he is. Yes, I have a ton. Surely this has got to be it. That dude didn't even do what, like, a chest normally does and, like, give me anything for it. Like, at least after all of that. Like, oh, by the way, I, I do have an item. Here you go. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna use my preemptive attack just to get out of here. I don't wanna fight these guys. I fought way too many already. Wait. I thought Hedon's whole deal was that he's really well hidden. <laughs> he's just like right here. It's like, hey, uh, I didn't think you'd find me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Control one of his guys. Poisoned everyone, not great. Can't control those guys. All right, let's try. So we're using Blizzard instead of Lazara by accident. One of his dudes has Reflect, which is mildly annoying. It made her use Morph? Oh my god. Twenty five thousand HP, twelve thousand MP, weak against fire, weak against holy, weak against earth, and you don't have fire spell. Oh my god. Why don't you just cure everybody? And you just put her to sleep. Awesome. This guy. What? He's zombie fighter like instantly? Oh my god. This is messed up. I 
All right, peace out, Yusuke. Let's aqua breath these guys and just see what it does. Oh cool, I accidentally healed a guy I didn't want to heal. Is Terra like also berserk? Like, okay. Um, no, not zombie claw. Oh my god. Celeste went down. No. This is the worst. KO'd party members as zombies? This is crazy. Thankfully, when my guys hit myself, it doesn't do very much damage. Way to poison the heck out of these zombies. I knew not bringing, like, the Figaro Brothers was going to be a problem, but... Oh, nice job, Zombie Celeste. That was actually real good. Grand Delta. Oh, this looks like bad news. What does that do? Alright, let's just get everyone kind of like back up where they need to be.
getting some real damage in on him now. Uh, no, keep in mind, everything in FF7 is the ghetto version of FF6. That's right. Put it on blast. Keep in the healing every round. I'm not even going to try to heal the poison because he just keeps repoisoning too often. Taking out his squad was really the key. I mean, should I dunk on FF7 or should I dunk on FF7R? Because that remake was pretty shameful. Pretty, pretty not good. Um, especially in comparison to, like, this game. Oh, no, he can resurrect the homies. Oh, no, they're all coming back. Someone should tell this guy it would be really cool if he died. Alright, I'm just gonna start blasting this whole crew with Lazara. Let's do a regular cure this round. Small price to pay, because these guys got that zombie claw move. And that Kung Fu claw. Oh, great block. Clutch block. Play the game. I like how that guy with the, the reflect on thinks that he's doing real work. That remake was definitely not fun as hell. That remake was okay at best. It's like a Final Fantasy 7 out of 10. Learn Grand Delta. Nice. I did it. I actually beat Hidon. I must tell Gung Ho he is avenged. How do you think this is going to go? Gung Ho! Gung Ho! What's all the fuss? Listen to me, I defeated Hidon! You what? You beat Hidon? You're lying! That says a lot about what he thinks of Strago, that like... Strago would lie about something like this. Wahaha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so skilled that Hudon didn't stand a chance. You know, maybe you should credit, like, Celeste and Terra. They really did a lot of heavy lifting. By the way, how are your wounds healing, Gung Ho? Hmm? Oh, they're fine. That evening. There I was, in a cave that seemed endless, and then, before I knew it, he don't appear. Really? We're not going to talk about the coral? We're just going to skip over that part? I stared he don't straight in the eye, lifted my staff, and let him have it! Pow! Thwack! Crash! I wish you could have been there to see it. And then... Mm -hmm. Oh, he finally tired himself from talking so much at first. See? Well, let's let him be. He's nice and quiet. 
But do you think it's okay to let him keep thinking I was really hurt? Oh man, I knew she was playing a scam. <laughs> that, what was with the treasure chest that wanted to eat coral? Like, there's just no context for him and he just it was disappeared. <laughs> so uh, oh i'm still poisoned really we're gonna we're gonna play that game you guys couldn't just you know do me a solid and said that i rested fortunately this is the masa uh being poisoned turns the world into four bit Welcome to Atari Fantasy. <laughs> Kefka's tower is actually built of coral. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> if you don't give the treasure chest all the coral, uh, Kefka can't build that like amazing uh, statue that he rides atop of. But yeah, I like how one time uh, Strago says he's going to put a good award with the innkeeper, get you a discount. This is before the world ends. And this guy holds on to it. And he holds on to his goddamn pun. You know, because this is the Masa, the secret town of magic. Why not relax for a spell? Like, this guy cannot be stopped. <laughs> like, the world ended and he was like, no, no, no. I'm sticking to my guns on this. I'm not backing off of how funny I think this joke is. I definitely want to tell this joke. Every time I see these guys come in, they got to know about this joke that I have. <laughs> and, you know, they're like, hey, maybe uh, you should charge those guys more than $1 to stay here. You lose money every time. We don't get a lot of customers anymore. And he's like, deal's a deal. I told Strago $1. <laughs> Sticking to one dollar. Okay. So we made some pretty fantastic progress tonight. Um, looking at the hit list, that's still kind of left to do. Um, so we've, we've cleared Narsh. We've cleared Zozo. Um, we did the Cave on the Velt. We've been to um, Alzheimer's Mansion. We've been to Ebot's Rock just now. Uh, we did Science Dream. We've been to Triangle Island. I don't know what Ancient Castle is or where it is. The Phoenix Cave is going to prove a lot to handle. Um, and the Fanatics Tower um, also awaits. Um, which we only did like the first minute of just to grab Strago so we could come here. So if we look at who's missing from the, the group. <laughs> if something happens to me, every lady in the world will grieve. Change party members. I like to get their hopes up by talking to them, but then not putting them in the party. It's a power move. Um, so yeah, we're still missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no. Because we're missing Mog. We're missing Umaro. We're missing Shadow. Is that it? Is it just Mog, Umaro, and Shadow? Because we've got like the the core top five with uh, Celeste, Savin, Terra, uh, Edgar. Like that's. Locke is the other missing member of that, that top group that I usually use. So yeah, we just gotta figure out where Mog is. I guess maybe I didn't explore the right area of Narsh to look for Mog. Um, so maybe I need to, to go check in there. Maybe I can still find Mog new tomorrow. Um, despite all that, I think these guys still didn't finish learning the espers that I wanted them to learn. 
Uh, so I'm gonna keep this party together just slightly longer. So I definitely know towards the end of the game if you've left a party like too weak without any uh, espers and magic and stuff, you really hurt yourself. So how's your time with her going? Ugh, 26, you got a long ways to go. Do you have your level two spells yet? No. Thankfully you had the one you needed for the last fight, but. Oh, right on the cusp of Holy, just not there. And right on the cusp of Kiraga, so. Um, let's head back to Narsh real quick. And just see if we can go into that left side entrance. Um... <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, da, 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 da. where are you, Nice. You're like, you're right there. Okay. You gotta park real close in this game, because, like, the encounter rate is high enough that you can get interrupted a lot just trying to get into the city from a step or two away. We've been through the fire and the flames, like, oh, wolf people. We're, we are really feeling it. Let's control these guys. It just has a special and an attack. Better rush yourself. Ultima weapon is really starting to do some real damage. Okay. Holy finally learned. So you can release that. So you're really just waiting for access to one of these two. Okay, so you can still get in here. More mag rotors. Wow. Celeste is really starting to hit hard. Roll tire over you. Now what? You weren't ready for that mix-up game. All right. Got a few more steps. Uh, that's preemptive. Let's go ahead and bail. I probably shouldn't have bailed, though, because I'm really trying to get Realm to get Kuraga, so I guess I should fight everything to get those, those magic points. Um, I guess this is the right way to go. Uh, memory's a little foggy here. yourself grabbed <laughs> the enemies without magic spells really aren't that useful to control oh 
Oh man, the chains, the bling. These guys are stunting. Gotta stop just straight up. Forgot that I'm Runa King over here. Get some free MP from this dude. Rob to the Mizob. Okay, so Realm finally can free up Lakshmi. Yep, done. She actually doesn't even have Fira. Oh, wow. Uh, that's used to this Fira. Why don't you spend some time with Ifrit then? way. Did I just backtrack? I did. Dang it. I forgot which way I was going. Alright, let's just run. Alright. I've been up way too long at this point, but... I really just want to finish this area. I'm almost to where the Moogles live. I got the Moogle suit on, too. I know a couple people thought that I actually had Mog, but no. It is Strago in a Moogle suit. This is a security system, right? Ah, uh, you always back off, dudes. I'm just trying to get through here. This guy's hard to run from. Looks like the security system is disabled. So just run through. Oh my god. Uh. You know what? You guys just showed up to the wrong party. Just zombify her? God damn it. Why couldn't I do that to themselves? Oh my god. That's so annoying. I 
can't believe those dudes zombified me. And as I learned, Asuna doesn't cure zombify. Uh, so once you've been zombified, you're in for the long haul. Um, pretty whack, honestly. Uh, let's all right. Let's see here. They're restored. Now that you finally have it, Realm, I sub the Kiraga. Dang, that's beast. 2,500 per person. So wait, Mog can speak words? I thought Mog could only say Koopa Po and stuff. So what does Mog's voice sound like? Is he like, Koopa Po, you're alive. I thought you were out feeding the worms, Koopa. Like, I, I don't know what his voice would be like. So we've collected Mog, but I think we we need Mog to get Umaro because he has to convince him, right? So I don't think we want to proceed too deep into the mines without Mog, is my guess. Ah, thank you for that uh, that pro tip. Yeah, obviously my voice doesn't lend itself to like real high pitched characters. It's one of the reasons I haven't been doing any um, like women characters at all, just because it'd be bad for you, it'd be bad for me. Every, we'd all lose. We would all lose with that. Um, okay. So then I think the real move here is just to straight up teleport out of this location. Um, just because the encounter rate is so high, backtracking pretty painful. All right. Well, taking a look here, um, I gotta say I'm really excited. You know, we had. I'm um, moderator Yusuke up in here. We've got a visit from Zinfandel. Govy's been in here. Um, got a few silent watchers that I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been super awesome. Uh, this is definitely, I think, probably like the best stream I've ever done. You wouldn't think part, you know, 14 or whatever of a long running game like this would. Uh, would be the good one, but actually I, I've been really pleased, and I, I guess that's probably why I've been streaming so long. It's been about three hours, actually. We're at two hours, 56 minutes in. Um, probably a good place to stop, because beyond this, uh, we gotta go back in with Mog, um, grab Umaro, um, and then we've gotta go find the Colosseum um, to pick up Shadow, uh, and then... We'll be in for a really long section of doing the Phoenix Cave, which in my old, old ancient memories, I remember being one of the very most annoying parts of the entire game. I just remember the encounters are tough and there's enemies everywhere and it's backtracking and, and you know, like walking puzzles. So um, I think it's just been... I think uh, trying to tackle any of that tonight is probably not a great move. Um, thank you for the praise, Govy. Thank you for anybody that bothers tuning in. Um, it's just us streaming the uh, arguably best video game of all time. Uh, the more I play it, um, there's only like small quality of life things I think that I would want to you know change about it. But the the characters, the depth, the hard hitting story. Um, everything else has just been really, 
awesome. Um, I do think that the Esper system did, was like a really novel idea to like constantly um, trickle out little elements of power and leveling up all the time. So you always felt yourself improving, even even as you were like bashing your way through your one hundredth um, Hella Gangster Bear with the claw turned down. Uh, you were still like, oh, but I'm getting magic points. I'm still gaining new spells constantly. I'm still shifting around all these espers to even everybody out. Um, and I think that kind of helps because, like, the weapons and armor and stuff flatten out a lot. Um, there's not tons of gear to be gotten. Um, and the relics, the, the relics in stores become pretty valueless pretty fast. And the relics you can find are, some of them are quite good. Um... And I just think people's unique powers are also really, really strong. Uh, like, Edgar and Sabin have no need of using magic if they really don't want to. Uh, so they don't even need to get involved with Esperism, uh, but they just can, because everyone can. Um, you know, like, and like some of the other people's off powers, like, um, you know, taking Gal to the Velt or um, trying to get Strago hit with blue magic, a lot of that stuff is just more trouble than it's worth when you can just give them Esperus. So I think if I were redesigning, rebalancing the game, I might just take away magic from some characters. Um, but I, yeah, I'm really impressed with the pacing and, like I said, just some of the story beats have been so dark. Like the the Kefka General Leo and and um, Kefka's encounter on top of the the floating island, um, and then Kefka again at Doma and. Um, the post Phantom Train sequence, uh, Science Dream State, um, with the hardest boss in the game, Rexel. Uh, like, just, there's just been a lot of, like, really intense moments that make you really care and, and really passionate about these characters. And I just feel like, you know, the last RPG that I played, the last big budget one was Final Fantasy VII Remake. And if you asked if I cared, about like the characters in that game not nearly as hard um i think they did a good job of getting you you know some attachment to um jesse and and a couple of the other characters to a degree but like um i definitely you know care a lot more about what happens to tara and sabin and these guys than i um than i did with uh what happens to like eris Yeah, yeah, like, you're feeling me, um, Zinfandel, like, it's, it definitely would change the game a lot if they had restricted magic from some of the characters, because with magic totally unrestricted, it makes, like, um, Sabin and Edgar kind of, like, bar none of the best characters. I mean, maybe if you're min-maxing, you can probably get, you know, one of the other characters, like, somehow higher, but basically, they have powers that are like mass damaging really strong scale all the way through end game uh cost zero mp so they can use all of their mp for healing and status effect magic and not have to worry about using magic to do damage whatsoever but they can still get ultima um if they want to go that route like it's just yeah it, may, it makes them a little bit too awesome so yeah if uh if you know, the Figaro brothers and a couple other people just, like, totally skewed magic. I think that would be okay. Um, it would change the game a lot. Uh, and I would probably also, if I were remaking the game, I might just get rid of the Ultima spell. Um, because it kind of does take away the decision tree of what you should do. Um, because a lot of times, towards the end of the game, the answer is, well you should just be gem boxing Ultima uh, every round and you should be mimicking Ultima and casting Ultima and that's really all anyone needs to do. Um, or yeah, I suppose if you got rid of the economizer where Ultima becomes one MP, that would be a strong dissuader because then you couldn't just cast it infinitely for free. Um, so yeah, I think maybe you've got to go... I, Golden Hairpin I think is okay. If it costs 50 instead of 100, then at least you wouldn't have every member of your party doing it. Because I think there's only one gold hairpin in the game. I don't think there... Maybe there's a second one somewhere. 
But there's definitely not a bunch of golden hairpins so that you can put them on everybody. Uh, and yeah, maybe just get rid of the economizer entirely. Because uh, it is really unbalancing. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think there are just some things that they could do, make a different experience with the game. Um, there's a pretty ambitious mod for the Steam version of the game. That looked kind of neat, but I'm already like way deep in the woods on this retranslation uh, ROM, which I really, really like. Um, I think the dialogue has just been very hard-hitting and partially the cleanup and the removal of probably some of the childlike translations has really helped that. Yeah, if Ultima cost you, like, a good chunk of your MP, like 20% of your MP by endgame every time you cast it, you're only going to get five shots of that against Kefka, and then you're, like, chugging um, ethers and stuff, trying to keep fueled and... It just becomes a way more of a finite curve. So I'm looking at my uh, little FF6 artwork up here in the corner of the stream. Um, I, I think I saw this fairly recently, so I don't think this is a very old piece of art. I think it's it's recently done, but it's really really cool. Um, and I just I had that that sort of odd rectangular space left on the channel, so I threw it up there. Hopefully the artist doesn't hunt me down and yell at me for. Um, exposing how cool his art is if i had a signature or something on there you know i wouldn't hide it i just don't have one i mean i just think this looks a lot better at least than the um i really don't like yoshitaka amino's stuff with like everyone kind of looking like a, a translucent vampire with weird glittery stuff and it's like really really stylized this looks a little more grounded um, and kind of how the portraits in game look, uh, which are quite different from Amino's vision. Uh, anyway, so anyway, that was my heartfelt thanks, and it's cool, it's a great convo. I appreciate you guys so much for showing up. I seriously, do it's really helping get through the the COVID times. Trying not to catch Coco, um, and uh, please join me again. Um, this has been so encouraging. Like, I'm actually super looking forward to the next stream. I'm also thinking about starting up a series where um, uh, uh, Yusuke, the, uh, the moderator on here, and I uh, sit down and play uh, fighting games locally on Friday nights. And we've been doing this for a long time, but it was suggested today that maybe we should start streaming it. Um, we play a lot of Grand Blue. We play a lot of Fancy Strike and... Um, some of the classic Street Fighters, and um, yeah, could could be fun. Uh, just pulling up old fighting games. We even do stuff like Rivals of Aether. We've done co-op games, so um, maybe just streaming some Friday Night Madness uh, might also be something else this channel kind of becomes for. Especially as I close in on the end of Final Fantasy VI, um, kind of figuring out what's next. So uh, thanks again, and uh, it is 12.11 West Coast time in the AMs. It's getting pretty late. I've been up since 5, so probably time to roll off. Uh, peace to all, and thank you, and good night. I'm the Croy Kaze. You can find me at Croy Kaze on Twitter if you want to continue the conversation. Um, but you'll see I don't post there a whole lot. Uh, Mostly, I only post in relations to my Twitch channel. So, thanks.